Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video tutorial, we will explore how to customize headers in a Word document, specifically how to remove or change the header text on certain pages. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like, it really helps out the channel. Now let's dive in and learn how to customize headers in Word documents. I have created an 11 page sample document where you will remove the headers from pages 4 through 7. To do this, we will use section breaks which let you divide your document into separate parts and control the headers for each section independently. In this case, I will insert one section break at the end of page 3 and another at the end of page 7. This setup will create three sections. Pages 1 through 3 as the first section, pages 4 through 7 as the second section and pages 8 through 11 as the third section. This structure gives you full control over the headers and formatting in each part of your document. To add a section break, first click where you want to insert a new section, in this case at the end of page 3. Next go to the layout tab, click on breaks and select next page under section breaks. Now double click on the header in the section where you want to remove the header text, which is page 4 in this instance. The header and footer tools will appear at the top. Make sure to uncheck link to previous to unlink this section from the one before it. This ensures that changes made in one section won't affect the others. Then click on the close header and footer button. Next position your cursor at the end of page 7 to create another section break. Once again go to the layout tab, click on breaks and choose next page under section breaks. Double click on the header in the section where you want to maintain the header text, which is page 8. From the header footer tools, uncheck link to previous to unlink this section as well. Now your document is divided into three sections, pages 1 through 3 in the first section, pages 4 through 7 in the second section and pages 8 onward in the third section. Now it's time to remove the header text from pages 4 through 7. To do this, Click inside the header area of the section where you would like to remove the text, in our case that's page 4. Then go to the header option in the ribbon and choose remove header from the drop down list. This will delete the header text for the second section which includes pages 4 through 7. And don't worry, these changes won't affect the first and third sections since they are now independent. You may notice that the page numbers are also removed. To show you how to keep them. I will undo my last action to bring back the header text and page numbers. Now instead of removing the entire header, I will simply highlight the header text and press the delete key on my keyboard. If you want to change the header text instead, you can just type any one such as new sample text. For this tutorial, I will leave it blank. Finally, close the header and footer area by clicking close header and footer in the ribbon. Before we wrap up, let's review each page to make sure everything looks correct. I will scroll up first, then down through the document. As we can see, the header text appears on the page 1, page 2, page 3. Just like we planned, there is no header text on page 4, page 5, page 6 and page 7. And the header text returns on page 8 through the end of the document. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I'm here to help. Thank you for watching and see you next time.